Well, Memphis police are investigating a shooting that left one man dead and a woman on the run. News Channel 3's Jessica Knox has the latest. It happens every day now. This neighbor is on edge and he doesn't want to be identified. He says this street in Whitehaven is normally quiet, but last night he and his neighbors heard a very unwelcome noise. My daughter gave me a call around 730 while I was at work and, and she told me, Daddy, they, something that's happening in, in the cove and, and I was, you know, uh, blown away. It wasn't uh, just surprised because nothing ever happens, you know, here in this neighborhood, yeah, on this side anyway. But she gave me a call and to, uh, to my uh, surprise that someone they got shot is what she told me. And uh, it was very surprising and alarming. This is the street where that shooter attempted to take that victim's life. Paramedics rushed him to Regional One Hospital, but unfortunately, he did not survive his injuries. Like I said, in this on this side over here, usually nothing ever happens. So, but our city has become a place where every day, you know, something is happening. Someone is getting killed. Uh, vehicles broken into. The neighbor believes it was a young couple who stayed in the home. He says they never caused any issues, but they just moved in six months ago. I didn't get get a chance to know him. I saw him, you know, come outside every now and then. S seemed to be a, a, a young couple. I will, I, yeah, a, a young couple. I see uh, some of the guys, you know, walking back and forth down the street. So. Uh, they hadn't been there very long. Investigators say a white vehicle drove from the scene and they are looking for what they call a female suspect. I'm wondering why uh, the police officer asking my daughter, you know, about my cameras here. Yeah, I have cameras, but we have cameras at both ends of this neighborhood. I'm wondering what, why, you know, it seemed like they should be checking those, you know, getting all the information they need. Because if, from my understanding, the person sped off, it should be hard to, to, to see that, you know. So, but it's, it's scary. Jessica Knox, WRG News, Channel 3.